it's time for the AFC Championship, and the road to a Super Bowl goes through Cincinnati. It's the Colts and the Bengals, next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to a very loud and a very sold-out Paycor Stadium here in Cincinnati. Straight ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl. And it'll be a great one between the Indianapolis Colts and the Cincinnati Bengals. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game, the conference championship game, may have more intensity than even the Super Bowl because you know what the stakes are. You're trying so hard to get to the big game that this is the, this is the one that's the real challenge. It's simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he's got Pierce. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And now a stoppage, and looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 41. They're going to look to throw. It's complete to Williams. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. On second down, it's Taylor. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. That one for Indianapolis, resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Back to Taylor on first down. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. And now a stoppage, and looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. It's first and goal, a chance for the first points of this AFC title bout. 
Now back to throw. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Lucas. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the wall. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. After a play like that, there should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not come down easily, you're right, but he did there. Now this will be play number 10 on this pretty long opening drive. Here's third and goal. Taylor. And Taylor, I don't think he got there. No, he did not. Unable to break free, and he's marked short. Only a yard that time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. Here are the Bengals on offense, and here is Joe Burrow ready to lead them at quarterback. And when you come into the league as the number one guy selected, a lot of hype comes with it. Sometimes that weight can be unbearable. But this young man, he took that weight on and handled it as well as you can imagine. And I love his ability to make a second, third reaction play and create downfield. <laughs> Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Over the middle, complete. It's Robinson. Play action, it's Burrow. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now it's Burrow. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he's going to have the Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. And Burrow going to throw again. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. After the incomplete pass here now, his second and ten. Now it's Burrow. And give him ten that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. That's an early scramble to review positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And he is going to have a Bengals first down, maybe by about a yard, as they find a way to convert on third and inches. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Now Burrow on first down. He'll drop this one down to Mixon. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up second down. Here's Burrow. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Player has it complete. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four, but got three. 
so much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from the first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches. And they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space. Let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in his own blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. He'll drop to throw it. Over the middle of the ground. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 41. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. They'll set up a throw. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. Coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball is coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. And that hits the crossbar and comes back no good. And by just a couple of inches, this remains a scoreless game. Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. But it was a crossbar that said otherwise. And that'll deny him a shot at three. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. From just shy of midfield, Burrow, he finds Robinson. And they're going to get this to about the 44 yard line. We've seen kind of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because Number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it. And occasionally, you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. 
from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. It's Mixon on the counter. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. They'll get 14 on that one. Good for a bangle first down. That's a very nice game there. Confidence building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they look to throw. Throw left side complete to Chase. And the Bengals are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Just picking up yardage and bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. It's first and goal. A chance for the first points of this AFC title bout. Now Burrow. here in this AFC Championship game. In a game of this magnitude, it's always good to get out to a great start, but a game of this magnitude, if you go up early, that's a big deal. It's a huge deal. Psychologically, you now have the advantage as well as on the scoreboard. And also, it's a settling effect for your team. You're in it now. You've got the lead. Let's just go play some more ball. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. They're going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. And they were in field goal range last time out, but couldn't connect. It's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. Here's second and eight. Over the middle, hauled in by Pierce. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. They go jet sweep here with Williams. And now a stoppage, and it looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Second and nine from the 44. Back to throw. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. They'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Colts in possession as they've got it with a third down and long coming up. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw, and that is incomplete. So on fourth down, the punter Ryan Wright. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Joe Burrow trots out again with the rest of his offense. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. 
The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head, head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a round, too. Throw left side complete. That's Boyd. And he'll get this out to the 30-yard line. Burrow to Boyd there for the Cincy first. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, and hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Throwing for Chase on the crosser. He's got it. Finding room in midfield. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So, Charles, this uh, defense that hasn't made a lot of mistakes like this on the road to this playoff matchup, but that, a bad one there. Yeah, you definitely want to rattle and shake up the other quarterback, but you know you've got to do it the right way. Otherwise, that clock's going to be on the ground. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did, throw that pass inside, hitting the receiver on the run. Inside hand off to Mixer. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He <laughs> doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. To throw again on second down. Burrow got his man complete over the middle. It's Robinson. And the Bengals are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. It doesn't matter where on the field he is, even down here in the red zone, he is still slippery with the ball in his hands. And he was almost able to work his way into the end zone. Instead, they'll have to settle for first and goal, but they'll take it. Burrow looking to pass. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to 0. So that will continue a seven play drive all told. And it ends with a Bengals score. Fielded right around the eight. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21 yard line. And the Colts getting ready to go. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle complete. It's Pierce. They run with Taylor. They're only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. The offense on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They're up against a third and one situation. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Well, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. This is taken around the 12. Well, that one, a 55-yard punt, 13 on the return. And the Bengals take over, first and 10. They go play action with Burrow. It's complete to Cook. And they work this well up field across the 45. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Burrow 
throw. throw. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. On second down, here's Mixon. And he stops immediately there. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. For the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And this won't be enough. A good secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. There's Michael Dixon now to punt. Amazing, perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. He'll look to throw. Caught left side, Williams. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. Second catch of this AFC title game, and he's got a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this again? <laughs> And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. Now a chance to make that encroachment penalty really hurt. First and five. They'll look to throw. Powers through it. Good footwork at the 30. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on the gain of 10. These guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they're acting panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Looking to throw. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. A give for Taylor running right side. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Out of the gun now on third down. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Yeah, these are the types of plays we're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. A give to the fullback on the dive. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous old coach once said. Any player he wants on his team, he wants him to be agile, mobile, and most definitely hostile. And room there to work it inside the 25. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And a short gain here down to the 22. Short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Quick hitter here, it's complete. 
And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. This will wind up a loss on the play. And that will bring up fourth down. And not what you're looking to do on third and one, completing the pass, but going backward. I have zero explanation for that because third and one, you just figure snap, throw, first down, right? Easy play. But end up losing yardage on it. That's hard to account for. Needing the tough yards, they run it with a fullback. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he shorted the line to gain. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here, first and 10 at their own 21. He'll hand it off here. This is Mixon. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's Burrow. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. So first and 10 now from the 30. On the give, this is their fullback. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And a hard work and run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. I know a lot of times we like to put players in certain boxes. He does this and he does that. But this guy, he can do a little bit of everything. He's not just a lead blocker or a guy who protects the passer. Handing the ball, he might want to get out of the way. AFC title game, second quarter action. Two minutes to play. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Oh, man. They'll look to throw. He's got his man. It's Pierce. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second and one. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. It's a loss of a yard. So they'll wind up crediting him with a sack, and it brings up third down. What the goal is to get back into this game, the offense is certainly moving in the wrong direction. This is certainly a case where one team needs big splash plays right now, but unfortunately, it's the other team that's getting them. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Now the Bengals are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you get the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put up the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. The previous run good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And that one caught downfield by Burrow. Oh, here you go. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 27 yards there, first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Burrow. And this is caught inside the five. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. It's a game of 34. I'm pretty sure any quarterback will tell you it's nice to have a 
tight end that can stretch the field and how about him right there working in the heart of the defense and they connect on a very nice play downfield a combination of talent and toughness to go into the briar patch now it's burrow and that'll be caught touchdown Bengals. it's tyler burrow a great play there as the first half is winding down and the Bengals continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Well, that's just how they do it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, gotta give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This one fielded at the five. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And with eight seconds on the clock, we're not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we come upon halftime in the AFC title game as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks as always.